Hi, I'm Nick, and I run Amazon Bound, where we help talented job seekers to interview effectively with Amazon and other companies that practice behavioral interviewing techniques. This video is going to be different from our other videos. Why is that? Because the lion's share of our customers are Amazon job candidates whose interviews are scheduled over the next one, two, three weeks or so. The purpose, however, of this video would be to help you, the applicant who is thinking about applying to Amazon in the distant future. Maybe you're thinking to apply at a big tech company like Amazon and others over the next maybe year, or year and a half or two years, and you want to know what it takes to prepare proactively in order to have a successful interview experience. So that's the goal of this video. And if you're one of those folks who are watching, you should keep five things in mind to prepare long-term to have a successful interview with Amazon. What are those five things? Number one, the most important by far, is you should ensure that you're working on challenging problems in your current job. The sole determinant that Amazon's going to use in order to decide whether to hire or not is if you elevate the Amazon hiring bar. You can raise or elevate the Amazon hiring bar only if you have worked on challenging and exciting projects in your current career, whatever that career is. So the most important thing by far is to ensure that you own meaty projects that are challenging, that potentially even involve lots of conflict, embrace conflict, run towards it, resolve these problems, and that's going to help you accumulate a professional experience, a portfolio of accomplishments and failures professionally, which will put you in a good position to elevate the Amazon hiring bar. So that is requirement number one. Requirement number two is to catalog your professional accomplishments and failures and match them to the 16 Amazon leadership principles. Amazon is going to use the leadership principles as the filter through which they will evaluate if you raise, if you elevate their hiring bar. It's important, therefore, to match the accomplishments that you have achieved in your career and ensure that they illustrate a number, as many as possible, of the leadership principles that define the core culture at Amazon. So that is requirement number two. Requirement number three is that after you have matched your accomplishments and failures professionally to the Amazon leadership principles, and after you have ensured that you have good coverage of as many leadership principles as possible with your professional career so far, requirement number three is to unpack, is to describe each of those accomplishments and failures via the STAR, or as we call it, SOAR methodology. STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, Result. SOAR stands for Situation, Obstacle, Action, Result. The two are largely identical. Make sure that you spend five minutes or so being able to describe verbally each of your accomplishments and failures by using the SOAR methodology. Requirement number four is to be ready to answer subject matter expertise questions, or as Amazon calls them, functional questions. Those questions would vary based on your career track. You can be an engineer or a marketer or a product manager, so on and so forth. Each of those functions has a different set of functional questions. Make sure that you study what functional questions Amazon has asked of similar applicants as you in prior interviews. Now, unlike the behavioral leadership principle answers that you would prepare ahead of time, it's impossible to prepare for the full universe of functional questions that you'll hear during the Amazon interview. But you can, by assessing prior questions and answers, you can get a sense of the direction and the form and the shape of these questions. And then you practice by answering similar questions or maybe even making questions up and answering them as best as you can. It's very important that you 
come up with answers quickly because in the interview, you're going to have no more than a few minutes to formulate an answer. And requirement number five would be to prepare answers that are very specific to Amazon to a certain number of questions that you'll hear during the interview. Questions such as, why do you want to join Amazon? Why do you want to join this role? Tell me about yourself professionally. Those are questions that don't fall in the SOAR framework, but you will hear those during the interview. And the best answer to these questions is the answer that is almost non-applicable when applied to any other company. When you ask why Amazon, describe why you wanna work just for Amazon. Don't use generalities that could be applicable to a number of other high-tech companies out there. So to recap the five things, the five requirements you should prepare for as you get ready to interview with Amazon in the long term are one, ensure that you're working on challenging and fun and innovative projects that will raise the Amazon hiring bar. Two, prepare a list with your accomplishments and failures professionally and match it to the 16 Amazon leadership principles to ensure that you have good coverage across every single principle because that's what Amazon is going to use in order to determine whether you raise the uh, hiring bar at Amazon or not. Three, make sure that you unpack each of your professional accomplishments and failures via the star slash soar methodology. Describe those accomplishments and failures verbally in the soar and star methodology for about five minutes or so per accomplishment and failure. Four, prepare with functional slash subject matter answers. Look through prior questions in your field that Amazon has asked of prior candidates and formulate a plan of how you can answer similar questions during your interview. And five, prepare very concrete answers to a number of questions such as why Amazon, tell me about yourself, why this role, that are going to be non-applicable to any other high-tech company out there. I hope this is helpful. Good luck with the Amazon interview. If this was helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Please check our site at amazonbound.today and best of luck.